I have lived long enough to see the same eyes in different people. I see your eyes. I know your eyes. Gives me the chills. Star, Star Wars The Force Awakens is taking the movie merchandising world by storm, and Disney is capitalizing on the massive appeal of the Star Wars franchise. The nearly 40-year-old space saga, now spanning three generations, is set to rewrite the playbook of blockbuster movie merchandise. And joining us today with all the details is WSJ's Ellen Byron. Ellen, welcome. So sales of Star Wars-related merchandise are expected to reach what? 1.2 or 1.5 billion in the 12 months surrounding the film? Yeah, in every way, this is gonna be big. Incredible, so what is behind all the hype? Well, um, a lot of it is just the huge appeal that Star Wars has. You have hardcore adult fans who have plenty of disposable income. Then you have parents who grew up with this franchise and have nostalgia for it. And then they also want their kids to be involved or the kids like it on, them, on their own. And so there really isn't something comparable to the phenomenon of Star Wars. I guess this is what Disney was paying for when they bought the franchise and this is the payday. So there is some risk, right? I mean, the movie, we don't know exactly how it's going to be received and in the past when there were certain characters like Jar Jar Banks that were heavily promoted before the movie that ended up not being that popular there was some loss there so there's a little bit of a risk correct oh of course and I've been talking to the so-called super fans who have been buying up merchandise of new characters who they basically know nothing about because they haven't seen the film mm -hmm. yet and they don't seem to be too worried just yet People have mixed feelings about Jar Jar Binks from the 1999 film, but mostly there is so much pent-up demand for anything new around Star Wars that sales are, are strong. So what is Disney hoping to do from a merchandising and marketing perspective that it didn't do with Frozen, which was arguably its biggest success? Well, that was a, its last blockbuster. Yeah. So what Star Wars is doing this time around is actually introducing this movie-related merchandise 15 weeks ahead of the release state of the film, typically in the industry, six to eight weeks is more common. And what that does is give retailers some advantages as far as figuring out what the most popular toys and other merchandise will be. It builds a lot of pre- holiday buzz to make sure that people know and really want this merchandise. And you brought some with you. Thank you for that, Ellen. Tell us what is here. I mean, we've got the lightsaber, which is a classic, a new version on the classic. My boys have had these and loved these for years. What's new about this one? Well, I talked to Hasbro, which has been manufacturing quite a few lightsabers. And one thing that's interesting about the lightsaber approach is that the prices range from $10 to $200. Uh, okay. And you see this across a lot of Star Wars toys. Toys, they're very aware of the fact that they are selling to adults as well as kids <laughs> and yes. they're pricing the uh, toys and also adding details accordingly. Yeah, so this still has the sound and the lights, which everybody loves. Tell us about this one, though, that you can personalize. Yeah, kids today really like personalizing and customizing their own toys. And Disney knows this, Hasbro knows this, and so they've been customizing their lightsaber. Uh, we know from the films that apparently Jedi really like um, having their own uh -huh. lightsaber. There are slight differences, be it in color or other aspects of the now saber. Now your kid can do that too. Yes. And, and what about these figurines? I mean, obviously these are based on new, some new characters. Yes, these are all new to the upcoming film. And what's really interesting is that people want to own these figures before they know almost anything nothing Incredible. about the about Incredible. the characters so where can you buy these and are they selling out already yes uh, this is the Sphero BB-8 and again we know very little about this robot except looking at it we think it's cute and he looks a little bit like R2-D2 yeah. it's it's friend. about hundred and fifty dollars and it almost sold out in September the company is racing to build up supply you're kidding um, and another interesting aspect about these new characters is the veil of secrecy that has been successful so far. The product developers I talked to haven't even seen the film. Um, they relied on character descriptions from Disney. Disney has kept very tight-lipped about what happens to these characters, um, but yet they're on shelves right now. There's very vague, cryptic product descriptions about most of them. So be honest with parents. Should, should they be getting on this now if they want to get their kids some of this merchandise for Christmas, or what's the timeline? Well, some of the retail experts I spoke to said that because 
because there are essentially two selling windows with this new merchandise, Force Friday, which happened in September, really appealed to the collectors who are very determined to get everything. And then after the um, initial rush, retailers have time to restock their shelves and hopefully parents will have plenty to choose from. All right, good, because I know I'm going to have to be buying some of this stuff for my kids. Ellen Byron, thank you so much for that.